If you're a young person in business and you're not quite sure what to do next, watch this video. Now, I'm going to explain a few things that you can do that will help you to be a better, more productive young person in business. The first one is use your money wisely and not spend it. And I know that sounds a little bit contradictive, but hear me out. It's a good idea for you to simply not flex your money and save it so you can use it for important things. Now, for those of you who are still living at home with your parents, listen to me very closely. You have an unfair advantage over the competition. You have little to no bills, which means if you're making some decent money to start your lash career but you're using it to spend on expensive jewelry and cars and expensive restaurants for no reason it makes you give yourself the excuse that since you're making so much money at such a young age it's not gonna hurt for you to spend some money here and there however what you need to do is look at your spending as unnecessary expenditure right now and this will dictate what you will be doing in the next 10 years now the ones who spend their money on the next next shoe drop or buy a car that they really don't need will still be playing catch up in the next 10 years to come. And if you're working in the business of the beauty industry and you're doing lash extensions, you're probably still going to be applying lash extensions with nothing left to show in the bank account or in your savings account. While the ones who actually stack and put their money away, think about the long-term goals will already be removed from just being a lash tech to a six-figure business or an entrepreneur. Because not only do they care about the money they have made when they were young, they utilize the asset of time in their favor. The next thing I want you to do is go out of your comfort zone. I want you to go out of your hometown for a week or a couple of days and reset your vision or your perspective for what you typically want to do. Go to big cities like LA, Miami, Melbourne, Sydney and spend money on a really nice experience. Go to a really top-notch restaurant or a top-notch experience. You really want to experience what is possible for yourself when you start making some serious money as a young person. Now this is not to contradict my first point that I mentioned before of saving your money whatsoever. Most young people People who are starting out their businesses even in the lash tech world have such low goals in life because they've never experienced a different way living out of their hometown or their city so how do you expect to get extraordinary results if you've never physically done it before you see if you experience these things, you have a greater and deeper understanding of what you can achieve in your life if you play the game of business correctly. In terms of service, go out and book yourself at another lash technician or another service provider who charges top dollar or any high-end service for that matter. Go out and experience for yourself the customer journey and how they treat you as a customer in their own establishment. Most young people don't know what it is to experience something high-end. So if you book your service at somebody else or even your competitor, you get to start to understand what it is that you need to achieve to be the best you can in your own business. Experiences that put you out of your comfort zone is one thing you really need to question or feel if it may be worthy or you're worthy of it. The ambience, the experience may make you feel somewhat uncomfortable. However, this not only helps you to develop yourself as a person, but it makes you question your beliefs and how you operate with other people. And in turn, what would make other people spend money in your business? Now, if you're understanding what I'm saying so far and you really like it, hit that like button and keep watching. The next essential thing I want you to understand as a young business person is to spend your time wisely. I want you to fill your time with less TikTok and Instagram scrolling and use more audiobooks and podcasts. In general, developing yourself to be a better entrepreneur. Most young people will spend all of their time on TikTok and Instagram and YouTube and scrolling endlessly and mindlessly. Instead, you should use time and see it as a currency that should be invested and compounded in interest to give you a better result in your life over an extended period of time. When you start seeing time as a currency, you can now minimize the waste because you have a goal to reach in the next five years. Everyone does it. 
eventually you and I will meet that person in the next five years and now you will see how you've built long-term results instead of short-term indulgences. For you to be yielding the best results for yourself as a young person in business or you're learning to do business, start listening or consuming stuff that will make you grow and learn and be more productive. The next point is if you're in the lash extensions industry, do not plan to be in this industry for more than five years. And most importantly, have a plan. When I first started doing lash extensions in 2006, I had no plans. I just wanted to be the best lash artist I could. I just wanted to apply those lash extensions and made sure that my customers were happy. I would mindlessly go through life waking up day after day getting ready to just go to work to be a lash tech. And to be honest, after about five years, it was kind of getting to me and I was getting a bit miserable because it was getting boring. Being a lash artist was a great short-term generator that could help me make a lot of cash and get on the right path in life. But the most laborious thing you can do is be a lash artist for 15 plus years, barely making 3,000 a month, struggling to pay bills and have less than $100 in the savings in your bank account. For some lash artists who are very young, don't expect all your time to be devoted to just being a lush artist. The next essential thing I want you to think about being a young business person is having an abundance mindset. I want you to look at where you are right now and realize that you're only making pennies compared to what you can in the future. There is so much more money in the world to be obtained, but you have to come from a place of abundance and be grateful. In perspective, if you are a lash tech, you're still living with your parents, you have no bills to pay, you don't necessarily have any expenses. All the money that you're making right now can seem like quite a very large amount. Thinking this way could make you lead to be a little bit too comfortable and ultimately lead to a lack of drive and desire. Just ask yourself, for someone who has big goals, what you want to achieve not only in life but in business and still staying at 6k a month, can that really help you to achieve what you want in the future? Because what about 10k months, 20k months, 50k month. These things can also be achieved. It may be demotivating to see your friends, your peers, and your family doing their regular jobs and making lots of money in their own lives. And it may make you feel like a little fish out of a pond compared to everyone else. But always come from a place of abundance and realize how comparing that money that you're making now to someone who's playing the big game in business, especially in your field, who is at a very much higher level than you, you should not only think twice about the drive and what lights you up when you think about that. It should elevate you and make you want to compete against your own self to grow and be better. Not just be complacent and be the typical lash artist or service provider in your hometown. Now I hope you liked these little nuggets and if you are a young person that wants some guidance don't be afraid to send me a message or write in the comments down below what holds you back from pushing your own business to the highest level. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and share it with your friends. I'll see you in the next one.